really not a giant, but it's a really, really nice walleye by most people's standards. Water temperature is reading 75 degrees. It's a cold front after summer. And what am I using to get these fish? I'm jigging. But guess what I'm jigging? It's one of the all-time greatest jigs ever made for ice fishing. The jig and rapala, and this sucker is not only for hard water. In many conditions, it's a killer in soft water, too. And I'm talking the middle of summer, baby. It's always fun to do something that, that, that's really different. And uh, those of you that really, truly like to jig fish, you know, this is the cat's meow, boy. And I, I know for a lot of you walleye anglers, you hardcore walleye anglers that are, are summer riggers and, and, and spinner fishermen or plug pullers, it's hard to believe that you can sit here with an ice jig like a jigging rapala in the middle of summer and get on schools of fish and catch fish. But I, I guarantee you, if you're a deep water fisherman, say, uh, uh, let's say about 18 feet and down, and you got fish in those zones, you got to try this. You got to try it. You know, and sometimes you'll just pop, pop it, and that thing flies off the bottom in many different directions, and that's what's triggering those fish. See my bait here? See my bait? Fall, falling right there, that's it. That you could see it just falling right off. That was my bait, just jigging up and down. And when you get into the fish, you'll, you'll see it, you'll, you'll, you'll just see it. I'm just bouncing it along on, on the bottom. You just make the adjustments on your hummingbird, you know, and you set your screen on wide, kick the gain up, and you come right over those fish and you're jigging right into them. You'll see the fish react when, when, when you're on them, you know, when you're really on them. I'm slip drifting a little bit and there's fish spread all over. I'll, I'll get on top, hover on a couple and do that or continue drifting. These fish are spreading a pretty good size deal, but you could sit right vertical on them and the deeper you go, the clearer it is. Here's a few key points to keep in mind about jigging a rapala in open water. From my experience, they've worked best on sand or gravel bottoms. In snaggy rocks, however, you'll kiss your jig and wraps goodbye. You don't have to fish a jig and wrap vertically like you do through the ice. In fact, I've done best with the bait out away from the boat at about a 60 degree angle. And I just sweep the bait forward two to four foot at a time. And then I just let it nose dive back to the bottom. You can even cast one out and retrieve it down a drop off as long as the area is pretty snag free. It's a lot more versatile than most people think. Fish there. See that fish there? See, see, you see that? Uh, my, uh, oh, I, I might have had him. I might have had that fish. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. Another good fish. Pretty good one. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Nice fish. Come here, baby. Oh, she's got that thing bur buried down her mouth. <laughs> Wait till I show you. It's, it's completely down her throat. Ugh. Okay, Mr. Walleye. Here. <laughs> they are flat getting on that thing. It is a reaction bite. Look at that. Look at that bait. Can you see it down there? <laughs> I mean, she just gobbled. Absolutely gobbled that thing. 